buckle up. We're diving deep into Jason's wild ride for the throne, and trust me, it's more dramatic than your favorite reality show. So, Jason was chilling, thinking he's next in line for the throne of Iolcus. But hold on, crafty Uncle Peleus gets wind of a prophecy that threatens his reign. His solution? Send Jason on an impossible mission for the coveted Golden Fleece, a mystical artifact held in distant Caucasus, a challenge fit for a hero. And just like that, Jason set on an unexpected quest. He doesn't just mope around. Absolutely not. He gathers the creme de la creme of heroes and demigods, often referred to as the Argonauts in the legends. Leading the pack is Hercules, the brawny powerhouse, Orpheus, the soulful bard with a heart of pure gold, and a whole crew of adventurers hungry for some legendary exploits. Together, this elite squad soups up a ship named the Argo, essentially ancient Greece's equivalent of a luxury yacht. First challenge, these clashing rocks that are basically a rock concert gone wrong. But with Jason's guts and some nifty teamwork, they sail through, leaving those rocks in the dust. Fast forward, and boom, they hit Caucasus. But Caucasus isn't your typical vacation spot. It's ruled by King Eats, a guy who doesn't hand out golden fleeces to just anyone. Now, Eats? He's not just a king, he's a master of challenges. But here's where things get spicy. Eats has a daughter, and let's just say she's smitten with our boy, Jason. Hear the fluttering hearts and sneaky plants. To prove himself worthy of that shimmering golden fleece, Jason faces not one, not two, but three insane tasks set up by Eats. Picture Jason battling fire-breathing bulls, sowing dragon's teeth, and outwitting the warriors that sprout from them. And each time, with a sprinkle of cunning and a dash of help from Eats' daughter, let's call her Caucasus' secret weapon. He conquers. Golden fleece? Snatched. Now, you'd think nabbing the fleece would be the end, right? Wrong. On their way back, they run into the sirens. These are not your average songbirds. Their melodies could make sailors forget their own names. Fortunately, Orpheus, with his trusty lyre in hand, drowns out their temptations with a melody so enchanting it saves the day. And just when they think they've hit smooth sailing, enter Talos, a bronze giant. He's all bronze, no brains. But Jason's crew? They've got Medea, the enchantress, and she's got tricks up her sleeve. With some quick thinking and a sprinkle of magic, they outweep this metallic behemoth. So, after dodging death, outsmarting kings, and collecting the ultimate fleece, Jason sails back to Iolcus. And what's waiting for him? A kingdom, a throne, and a whole lot of, I told you so, moments for Uncle Peleus. Jason's journey wasn't just about reclaiming his birthright, it was about proving that with a dream team, a bit of sass, and a whole lot of determination, even the wildest quest can have a golden ending. And there you have it, folks. Jason's roller coaster ride for the Golden Fleece, packed with drama, love, and a sprinkle of divine intervention. If you're hungry for more epic tales, hit that link and join our mythological bitch fest. Until next time, keep it legendary.